the water element and the fire element fell in love. What kind of sparks could they erase? A couple of fire element spouses rode a small boat from the countryside to here. Everything seemed fresh to them. Just as they got off the boat, they were stunned by what they saw. Water elements were all working on submarines. When the water inside the submarine poured onto the ground, the water element would transform into its true form. On the other hand, air elements commuted to work on airships. When passengers got off, the airship deflated like a leaking balloon, only to inflate again when it was filled with passengers. Watching the busy figures of various elements, the fire element couple were full of expectations for the new life ahead. They bought an old house, establishing their own little home, and gave birth to a lovely daughter. The father named her Flame Girl. He adored his daughter immensely, and told her that blue flames were the belief of the fire tribe. The father opened a grocery store, and began teaching Flame Girl how to manage the shop. The business of the small shop kept getting better, and the father planned to retire and pass on the store to his daughter. On a promotional day, the business was booming. Various unusual problems triggered Flame Girl's fiery temper once again. She hastily pushed through the crowd of people and ran to the basement, where she unleashed the pent-up energy in an instant explosion. This explosion caused a burst in the water pipes, resulting in a gush of water. Tom, a water element, happened to be nearby inspecting and quickly arrived, informing her of the danger. He assisted Flame Girl in quickly locating the source of the leak. Climbing to the rooftop and ascending into the sky, they soon found the water traces and successfully plucked the leak with sandbags. During this process, they gradually opened up to each other, chatting about everything under the sun, and a vague sense of affection began to develop. Soon they discovered they liked each other. They even daringly went on a movie date. In the theater, Flame Girl's firelight illuminated the surroundings, and she tried to hide her slightly awkward demeanor. Tom took her to take photo booth pictures, but the result was overexposed showing only two pairs of large eyes against a white background. On the way home, Flame Girl spotted many colorful minerals, showing Tom her colorful side. Flame Girl was truly beautiful. The affection between them quickly intensified. Soon, Flame Girl's parents found out about a relationship with the water element and tried to stop it, dumbing it inappropriate. In an attempt to discourage her, her mother even resorted to divination. She asked them to light to jaw sticks with their own flames. Flame Girl, of course, did it effortlessly, but how would Tom, a water element, accomplish the task? Tom thought quickly he had Flame Girl stand behind him, using his body to gather the firelight, and successfully ignited one of the jaw sticks. Love not only gives courage but also wisdom. The smoke from the two jaw sticks spiraled upwards, symbolizing true love. Just then, the crack appeared in the dam that Flame Girl and Tom had blocked together. Due to the constant impact of the flood water, the glass shattered, and the flood rushed toward Flame Town. Tom hurried over, helping to block the door, urging Flame Girl to quickly save the blue flames. She melted sand and built a barrier of glass. In the critical moment, Tom put the flames into a lantern. As the water level inside the house continued to rise, Flame Girl used her welding skills to seal all the leaking spots. Because of the high temperature inside the cabin, Tom's entire body was boiling, with the water vapor continuously evaporating. Tom eventually disappeared into the air in Flame Girl's embrace. When the floodwaters receded, the entire Flame Town had turned into ruins. Flame Girl entrusted the blue flames to her father and apologized, saying that inheriting the grocery store was no longer her dream. At this moment, the father and daughter finally resolved their estrangement, embracing tightly as a family. Just as everyone felt sorrowful about Tom's departure, they heard the sound of water droplets behind them. It turned out that all the water vapor had hidden within the walls and condensed into droplets when it cooled. To help the droplets flow faster, the father volunteered, expressing that it didn't mind if his son-in-law was a water element. Tom seemed to hear these words, and suddenly the cabin was filled with the sound of dripping water. As Tom resurrected once again in the basin, seeing this scene, Flame Girl excitedly jumped up and embraced Tom. In the end, Flame Girl did not inherit the grocery store. Instead, it was taken over by another young couple. Flame Girl and Tom bid farewell to their parents, embarking on a journey of their own.